and welcome to episode 4 of Sultan Mosin's Sports Zone. Now that you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give your opinions in the comment section below. In this video, I'll be discussing if I think Barbara Azam, um, recent appointment as ODI captain was the right decision and we'll also go through the um, central, central contracts uh, announcement that was made by the PCB on Wednesday. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate Barbara Azam for his um, appointment as one one-day captain. Um, I hope he does a good job, but I still think um, it's not the right decision. Um, this could be due to, um, <clears throat> I think it will affect his batting greatly. Even though he's that type of player who would not want to um, have his batting affected by captaincy, but I still think it will because um, captaining Pakistan is a big deal, especially with uh, lazy players and stuff like that. So. I think um, Imad Basim was a better choice. Um, I've seen his captaincy when he was playing, um, playing in the PSL for Karachi Kings. I think he has very good leadership attributes, and um, I think it's kind of unfair on him that he didn't even, either he should have either got the T20 captaincy or the ODI. So I don't know about Barbara as being captain, but I hope uh, I wish good luck to him. But uh, I think it's going to be a uh, tough, tough, tough time for him as captain. Um, so let's get the ball rolling with um, the centrally contract announcement that was made on Wednesday. So the I agree with um, most of the contracts uh, that are awarded to players and which categories they were put in. But some, or some of them I was actually given the question mark. I was like thinking, why is he there? Why is he there? Why is he there? So one of the players I think um, who was harshly done by. Uh, with the central contract announcement, uh, central contracts announcement on Wednesday was uh, Imad Basim. He was named in category C of um, the contracts. Um, so I think that's very hard done done for him because I think his performances this year has been exceptional. Um, he's turned out to be a match winner for us um, after he was dropped in the Asia Cup. I think that was about two years ago. Um, He's made very consistent performances. I think he's improved his um, power hitting a lot, even though you can see the match against Afghanistan as well, which was a memorable match. Um, I think his performances have been exceptional, and he should have at least got a B category contract, in my opinion. Um, next player, I think Shadab Khan. I think he doesn't deserve to be in category B in um, the central contracts because I don't think his he's had any exceptional performance or any uh, top quality performance for a long time. Um, he's our only one uh, genuine spinner in limited overs cricket, we have Yasser Shah as well, but I think there's not enough competition in our spin department and our spin, spin department is not what it used to be, when we used to have Saeed Ajmal, Zakan Mushtaq, um, players like that. So I think um, he should have been in category C because um, I don't think he's had any very top class performances of late. He's been struggling with the ball. Even though I'm, I've seen the PSL, he's made some effort with his batting. Um, he's showing his all round ability. But I think that um, he can still improve and he needs to uh, start picking his form up um, in the future. So, because I think he can be a very pivotal player for Pakistan cricket um, in the future. Because I see potential in him, but I don't think he's. Meeting, reaching his potential. Um, this could be due to uh, not having the right backroom staff out there to help him and train him. As you saw, Mickey Arthur um, had a successful stint there and he, he got the best out of Shadab Khan um, during the Champions Trophy and other series as well. But since Ms. Bar's come in, or like during the World Cup as well last year, I don't think his performance is. Uh, his performances have been really disappointing, so I don't think he deserves a Category B contract. Um, next player I think is Shahina Freely, who is an exceptional talent. I think he's improved a lot over the last year or so, um, including wonderful spells in the World Cup against New Zealand, which was exceptional bowling. Uh, six, uh, six wickets against Bangladesh um, in the final World Cup game, I remember. I know his performance has been exceptional, but I think he doesn't 
he's too young to be given a Category A contract, if I'm, if I'm making any sense. It's like, you need to earn more to have a, have a Category A contract. You have to be that top class player who's doing consistent performances and getting matching performances on a regular basis. But I don't think he's, he's given them yet, even though I might be harsh on him. Uh, but I still think a Category C contract uh, or category, a Category B contract would be more suited because I think he should be given more time to show and prove his worth. Um, so that's the one with I disagree with. Um, another one is Mahmoud Rizwan. Uh, Mahmoud Rizwan is actually a, is a, is a confusing one because I don't think he deserves a Category B contract. It's because I don't think he's had any exceptional performances because he had 200 against Australia in the UAE, okay. But I don't think in the UAE you get tested as much. Um, there was no Mitchell Stark over there. There was no, I think there was no Pat Cummins. Uh, they were playing the second string bowlers, uh, wrestling them for the World Cup, as I remember. So, I don't think he plays aggressive enough. He he's not consistent enough, and I don't play. I don't think he relates and matches to the criteria that he, that is needed for modern day cricket. So, I think he should have been in the C category because he hasn't given any, any big performances of late. Um, even and he wasn't even selected for the World Cup even so I don't understand PCB's thinking there. Um, the next one I think is I was asking where is um, Hushtil Shah uh, when I was looking at the contracts announcement the other day um, on Wednesday I was um, seeing where's Hushtil Shah because he's playing in the he's, he's been in the squad in the last couple of series. Uh, and he's given exceptional performances in the P, uh, PSL with more dance or dance. So it's kind of a confusing one for me because if someone's been in your squad uh, for the last two or three series and you've seen his potential in the PSL, then why not give him a central contract? So I think I think the PCB is, is confused thinking really. I don't think that's um, correct decision making. If you're actually selecting someone and see a playing in series, and you've seen his potential, so why why shouldn't he deserve a central contract? Why does Mahmoud Rizwan deserve a potential contract if um, uh, his performance has been exceptional over the last in, uh, last um, year or so? I don't think he deserved uh, to be in the central contract, uh, be in the B category. So I don't know, um, but I think Kushta Shah should have been in there either on a category C basis uh, or category B basis, but should have been there. Uh, Fuad Alam, who was another player, I think he's been um, very much in justice with him. Um, he's been giving brilliant performances in the domestic circuit over the last, you say, three or four years, and he's not getting the recognition. It's like Misbah's getting him in the side to show people that he selected him in the squad, but he's not playing him. So I don't understand the thinking behind that. If someone's got uh, like a huge experience and bulks of runs behind him, so the first class cricket, but why not give him a go in test cricket? Even though I know our test team is doing well at the moment with the uh, young promising players like Naseem Shah, uh, um, <clears throat> Abid Ali performing well, Shan Masood and stuff, but it wasn't against top class opposition. So I think um, Fuad Ala deserved um, a central contract and he should be played because it's kind of disheartening for players who's been performing for a lot of years in the domestic circuit and not get getting the recognition that he wants. That might demotivate him in the future, even, even though it hasn't yet, but it might in the future. Finally, um, I think uh, the PCB's decision of removing Hassan Ali, Muhammad Amir and uh, Wahab Riaz from the central contract was the correct decision. Um, I, it's because I don't think any of the three have had any exceptional performances over the last two uh, two to three years two years I think um, Hassan Ali let's start off then um, I don't think um, he's been the same player since the Champions Trophy in 2017 where he was a um, player of the tournament with exceptional performances no doubt but after that his, his forms actually slipped away I think it might be confidence it might be due to lack of desire um, he was named number one bowler straight away after the Champions Trophy, so that might have not pushed him to his potential. He might have thought, okay, I'm number one now, so why do I need to keep on going? I can just relax. 
that's the problem with our players they relax too they relax um, too quickly and rest on their laurels only once they know their place in the team is cemented so I don't like that attitude um, Mohamed Amir um, he's taken retirement from test cricket um, I think which is a poor decision from, from his side because the PCB has invested a lot, of, a lot in him since his ban um, even before his ban but um, after his ban like it's, it's not a joke to bring someone back after a ban of how many years was it five years five six years and after that you repay that by retiring from test cricket at the age of I think 26 27 um, which I think is showing um, no loyalty to Pakistan cricket I think that's very disheartening to see people retire from test cricket same as Wahab Riyaz as well because both of them they retired from test cricket and test cricket is the main game that's where you get tested that's why it's called test cricket you have to play long overs ball, ball hard um, hit, hit, hit the deck hard bowling the right lengths challenging your thinking as well seeing where do you have to ball to get the opposition out because in test cricket opposition are very stiff and very uh, uh, very like mentally strong in their approach that they just want to play defensive cricket or um, want to um, keep their wicket at for regular for longer intervals so I think them retiring from test cricket was a poor decision even though the Wabria as I understand that okay you're um, 34 years old you shouldn't still um, and you uh, you shouldn't still just retire just like that even though because you know you've got young crop of players coming up like Naseem Shah uh, Hasnan, Musa Khan, uh, Shane Jaffrey you can't just put the burden on them so I think it was a total embarrassment for Mohamed Amin and Wahab Riyaz to just say okay I retire from test cricket and just run away and just put the burden on the youngsters which is very unfair on, on them in my opinion so overall this is what I think about um, barbarisms uh, if uh, um, barbarisms appointment as captain uh, no ODIs. guys um, in the central contracts I think uh, as, the, as the players I mentioned below uh, in the, in the um, I mentioned below uh, in the thing that um, they, some of them deserved higher contracts, some of them didn't. Um, it's because in, in order to attain a higher contract, I think you need to have top quality performances to back them up. You can't just get a high quality contract, okay, oh, I didn't do a performance or something like that. You have to give top quality performances in order to prove your worth. You can't just say, okay, I've, um, I've given one performance and the next two or three series that you didn't really give a performance. So I don't like that attitude. But this is what we will think about um, Barbara's appointment as captain for uh, ODIs. Um, the central contracts announcement. Uh, as you see, I made my <laughs> opinions uh, opinion made very clear in, in that aspect who deserves a high contract and who doesn't. So please subscribe to my channel, guys. Um, and please, when you watch my video, please subscribe to my channel. Give your comments in the... Um, in the section below. Thank you.